what this naughty dog has done, Bailey. Chris Bailey. Bailey, what did you do? What did you do? Yes, you're ashamed, aren't you? I didn't think it was his fault. What, Bailey? Oh, Bailey, I even bought him in. I didn't let him stay outside this morning. And you still managed to do it. It doesn't touch you all day long, just in the morning. Bailey. Sit down. What did you do? Why did you do that to your head? Bailey. You're so funny. Are they get ashamed? What did you do? Stand at the park. Had a pretty rough morning today. I've uh, been in tears twice, <laughs> thanks to my children. It's not like me to get so upset about stuff, but and I got cranky and angry and yelled. <laughs> oh dear, it's kind of been a pretty picture at our house. So I didn't even want to take the dog, but I'd, I'd already gotten dressed. I thought, no, I'll just take him. Hopefully, I'll feel better by the time I get home. I'm feeling a little bit better. It's hard not to feel good when you've when you've got that. So anyway, heading back now. Oh, probably can't see me, but to top things off, I just got a phone call from Christy saying, oh, okay, looks like yours, saying that she'd um, she forgot her towel and goggles to swim in today, so now I have to run them into town to her, which is an hour round, oh no, it's only half an hour round trip. Okay, half an hour round trip, but I wasn't going to go out. Now I will, I deliberately didn't want to go out, because if I go out, I know I'm going to get glory jeans. It's that kind of day, so I'm thinking, I'll stay home so I don't get it. Now I've got to go out. Oh dear. Come on, puppies. Come on. Thanks for my walk. I'm just stop going out the garage door because Kevin locks the front door at home. I have to go around the back. I'm back for my walk. Good news is, I'm feeling all right. I don't, a little tiny bit upset in the summer, but not too bad. Um, I thought we'd pull yesterday afternoon, but I was all right by the time I to bed. Went for the hat head. I just don't know whether a quick shower. Going out tonight, so I want to do makeup. I don't have time to do that now. Or just go and um, have my shower later on. I might just do that. Um, I'm just in my exercise clothes, but I'm. I don't have to go, if I go now, I can just, um, yeah, I'll just go now, as, as is, because <laughs> I was going to go and get some bread and glory jeans, I was going to have my breakfast, I've decided, so I might make a quick cup of tea to take with me, but I just realised on my walk, I haven't even eaten anything today, like often I'll have a cheer cookie or two, when I have my tea this morning, but I end up having one cup of tea, I'll try and wait till this is a second cup of tea before I start eating. I didn't get that far today. I found it really hard in the morning still because the girls were down. They were both downstairs by seven o'clock, and then I thought, like, I was, I was actually going to go for a walk at night no, six thirty. They were both down. I was going to go for a walk at six thirty. They turned up, so I thought, oh well, I'm going to wait till later on. So, so I mucked up my morning. Yeah, it's taken a while to get the whole morning thing going. Just turn the outside. Do tea. Well, um, I've got my travel cup here from yesterday, so I'll grab a cheer cookie and I'll keep me going because it'll be half an hour at least before I'm back. What tea will I have? Um, I might just have a normal black tea, I think. Um, I've got a tea, I might do the tea bag. I've got a decaf tea bag. Too. Good chilling to myself. <laughs> just trying to think of things. Because you the towel and goggles. I'll go get them while the water's boiling. And. I'm going to change shoes and turn back into my crop, so my joggers. And, yeah, because I plan to like, come home from my walk and do my little planning straight away. Because Kevin, naughty that he is, showed me how to get stuff on the iPad to watch the Olympics. But they've got some, like, there's actually some events already happening today. So, <laughs> now I'm keen to sit and look at that, but not until I have done my stuff for today. So, in case you ever wondered if I set this box out by the pool, it'd be nice to sit by the pool today too. The red towels are... And Charlie's outside, so that's good. <laughs> I 
So you need your <laughs> controlled button doors. All right, I'll get organized and get this tea. And as I said, if I leave now, I can I get to her before she goes into class. I don't have to disturb her. But that'll be good. All right. I need to focus now. As I said to her, you're not focusing in the moment. You've got a swimsuit on. Forgot the towel and goggles. Go figure. Okay, I've got a bag for Christy. I also found she'd forgotten the glasses. I'm not sure, so I put them in for it as well. Got my tea. I've just got a Yorkshire decaf. Just a, I don't have any tea bags, well, any black tea bags I've got. So I thought I'd just have that. Two tea cookies. I changed my shoes and I'm out the door. I have them not smelly. I did put Jared on the floor for a walk, but I feel like I'm smelly still. Anyway, <laughs> gotta go now. Yeah. <laughs> Here at the school, and of course, <laughs> they've got their phones off, so I had to go in looking as I do. <laughs> and then, because I haven't got into a glass, I had to go in and take my, like, it's dark in the room, they've got lights on in there. So I take my sunglasses off so I can see, and I can't see because I haven't got my glasses on. So it's like, I followed Amy, and of course, she's way down the back, so anyway, <laughs> I got the bag too. Right? I was just like, oh, typical. <laughs> Alright, heading on home now. I'm going to have the same problem that I had at the and then I haven't got my glasses. I can't walk with dark glasses on, so everything is blurry. That's <laughs> alright. I'm gonna get some bread. I'm denied about coming down, but I really need to get some bread for the weekend. Otherwise, Kevin will have to come down and he will get more stuff than he needs to get. So, some bread, bananas. I don't know if you guys can see me. Anyway, bread, bananas, milk, and my iced chocolate. <laughs> Just have another walk, the shops aren't even open yet. Just aren't open. He had nice snooze. I think he had nice snooze while I was gone. Have a good snooze. Wasn't gone very long. Breakfast is served. <laughs> that was all I got. I didn't buy anything else naughty, I promise. I was tempted, I'll tell you. So I did well. <laughs> okay, I'm going to watch one video while I finish this. Then I'm going to clean downstairs and have my shower. So I promise that's my commitment to you guys. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not going to look at the Olympic stuff yet until that is done. I'm not too happy. Someone has told Solomon my pen. I'm always really good at putting it back in there. I don't know whether Kevin used it this morning one of the girls grabbed it. It's gone. <laughs> well, I don't think it's fallen down there because it stays in there really well. All right. I'm going to clean the house. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. I've got a new limo to sit down, but I did. And then I started looking at the um, Olympics programming. And there's another cycling event going on in Australia, but I guess it's luckily it's not telecast, so I can't watch it. <laughs> but I'm watching the update videos every day, so that's okay because it only goes for a few minutes. I can't. I've got so that's going on the cycling race, the Yukon Quest, and the Olympics are about to start. <laughs> And I'm still settling into routine. I'm just really happy that I feel good again today. So I'm going to whip around, get downstairs. Now it's pretty tidy now, so it shouldn't take too long. Just got to dust, clean the glass, and vacuum. And yeah, I've already done the toilet because I did that yesterday. So I think when I get organized and if the house stays tidy, that then my new routine will work actually really well. And then I'm going to, I really should try and do some more in my wardrobe. but. I might try and do it after lunch. And I also want to make kale chips for the girls this afternoon, so I guess I should wash the kale and let it dry out. I should do that first. Then have a shower. So we'll get there. I don't know where my pen is. Doesn't, there, there it is. I found it. Pen located. <laughs> it's quite pink, so you shouldn't have to lose it too easily. Put it back in its home. I a lot of comments again. I've been really slack. I, don't, I haven't fitted that into my routine yet doing comments, but I, was, I read all your comments and I was just reading one from, from Mark and he um, commented on the fact that I was always making cheer cookies. Guess what I'll say to do today? Maybe tomorrow. More cheer cookies. And everyone eats them. I eat the most by far. Um, but the, everyone else eats them. They really are good. You should make them. Give them a try. I just, yeah, I'm addicted. Someone's a golden disgrace. He scratched his head again. So he's in the cone of shame, aren't you, baby? So I've done all downstairs and I've just 
moved in the garage so I can get the bale of straw out. So I'm just going to take that straw out to the chickens because they've got no straw out there. And then I'm going to have my shower. I'm going to put some stuff on that saw. I don't know how it started. It's so weird. Look at the sale of chicken yard and the poor chookies. No wonder you're not laying eggs. I don't think I'd lay eggs if I did live here either, so we've got no straw. Oh, we'll fix that today. So I'll just turf this, that's the straw up there. I'll just put it out the laundry door and I'll just carry it through and give them some straw. Now I'll make for some happy chooks, hopefully. Uh, so how they do it? Look, you see them pulling their feathers out. They know what they're doing. Okay, so that's what I'll do is I'll just chuck the bale apart and those girls will do the rest. This afternoon there'll be straw covering the whole area. I used to shake it all out everywhere and then I realised that she scratched through as you can see over there and they will disperse that straw. So I'm now going to clean out their house as well and put some fresh straw in there for them. Really this should be done every two weeks but because I've not been well I don't know the last time this got done. It's probably been a good month. It's not very, not very fair on the chickens. This is Lucy. I had to catch her because she's been pulling all her feathers out. I don't know why. She's um totally bald underneath. I don't know why she's done this. She's kind of red wool. Why have you done this, Lucy? I only managed to catch her because she was in probably trying to lay an egg. <laughs> Off you go. Silly chookies. I just had a bit of a makeup epiphany. I'm just I'm using the um Good Techniques makeup sponge. I forgot to put on powder. That's what a good job it did. That sort of I forgot. I put on my blush and I found I put any powder on. Because that does an amazing job. Okay, so I'll share my makeup before I um, put my glasses on. And I'll show you what I've got on today. Um, going to the movies tonight with Kevin, hopefully. That's the plan anyway. So, I don't know what I'm wearing yet, I've just dressed for the afternoon because it's like really spring another six hours before we go, so I thought I'd just put on comfy clothes around the house and then I'll get changed later on. So I had to obviously go with a neutral makeup. Anyway, so as I said before, I use my NATO, we got to focus, my NATO foundation, which I really love and essentially a really good colour match for me. And then I use the beauty, no it's not a beauty blender, it's the real techniques Copy Beauty Blender sponge. I think I did an amazing job as I already showed you that because I ended up doing I ended up, did end up doing some powder over the top, but I don't really think I needed to and made for up a really natural look. Just that without fa that powder would be perfect. I went with this Illamasqua blush today, which is the duo, duo Katie and Ambition. Love that, so pretty colours. And then I went with the Sephora. Flashy liner waterproof in in flashy black purple. It's probably a little bit dark, but I think it's okay. I'm not smudging it out a bit with the brush, so it didn't look quite so harsh. And then on my eyes, I've got eyelids. I've got this Catrice uh, eyeshadow that I picked up in Germany, and I just used the light green and the sort of grey green colour there, whatever that is called. I don't know. And this was Love, Peace, and Harmony. I just thought that was just made a nice neutral set. I didn't use that third colour because I didn't want to go too heavy and too smoky eye because I am just going to the movies. <laughs> and then I used this, the Real by uh, Benefit mascara that I got as a sample. I think it does a pretty good job, but I don't think it's any, necessarily any better than the Natio one that I really liked and that I've actually bought. But I'll use this for, um, I'll probably use this for a few months and then I'll go to my other one. No lipstick because I'm going to have lunch, so I just put on this Soft Lips vanilla flavoured one. I just keep two here, and I usually put one of them on if I'm not doing um, any lip product when I get dressed. I'm just going to remove my nail polish because it's going to be chipped. But I, this is wearing really well. This is the new um, poly, Perfect Polish, the Australian brand. Absolutely love it, but it has got a bit knocked now with all the work I've been doing, so I'm going to take that off, take my toenail polish off as well, and I can um, reapply that on. Bradley was upstairs with me all that time and Rosie was down here in the laundry. Got a nice breeze coming through out into the... You know, when I have the door open it sucks a nice breeze out. Is it nice in here? Nice and cool? Nice place to snooze. 
You're very cute, Rosie. Are you cute? Are you cute? <laughs> you go. You're gonna wag your tail when I say are you cute. Look, I'm still in trouble with missing videos, and that's from the video camera. So I put a new card into my video camera. I think a totally new card, never been used before. And I hope all the footage came off this camera because it's hanging forever and ever, and I just end up doing a false eject. So I hope it's all there. Mm, I'm a bit nervous about delete. I don't know if I'll delete the camera yet, just in case. I don't know why it took so long. I was like, I don't know. I made all my lunch. I made three lunches while that was doing it, plus other stuff, I think. <laughs> I wanted to show you a lunch, that's why I needed a card back. So this is what I've done. I've done three salads. So this is today's salad, and I've made two to put in the fridge. One for lunch tomorrow, and Kevin are going to have one, or I've got a spare one. I find they're keeping really well like that, and I just add like I'll add the pineapple and my beans and my dressing, and that's it done. So that's been working. It worked really well for me this week having the extra salads done. And I've also washed the kale, taking all the stems. And as I said when I bought it, just for my grocery haul, this was so easy to get off in a big flat chunk, so they should go into chips really nicely. So I'll spread them out so they can dry, because they have to be totally dry before you can oil them and cook them so that'll be good and I'm gonna go finish up my lunch and have that. Okay, so I'll put together cleaned up the work area and I'll spread all the kale out to dry so I can um cook that either before or after I get back with the girls. It's about an hour and a half so I'm gonna sit now and have my lunch. Put my feet up. Now I've got to decide whether I watch YouTube or check out these Olympic stuff. Decisions, decisions. Oh, toes are painted. This is um, this an ATO one, <laughs> which is wonder. Just watching some of the. Oh. Just watching some of the um, Australian Winter Olympians with their green and gold hair. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take you along today. And um, hopefully you can see Bailey out the window because he just has the best time. Girls are home. <laughs> Ruth is already right. munching on those crunchy kale chips. You told she's been for a swim today. Went to the beach for sport today, didn't you? Mhm. Mm I was just editing some video of him being naughty, and now he's all funny again. It's all right. You're a good boy. He's over it now. He was flapping his tail at me, Bailey. You're a good boy. That was when he done his head. And he was in trouble doing his head. You can't do your head anymore, can you, Bailey? Snoozy puppies. They're always snoozy puppies. Oh, I'm getting excited now. <laughs> oh, that's actually really cool. It's just a little um doc. That was just like a little mini documentary going on about um that was about skiing and all the different skiing ones. And this is I think it's the same one again. I think we're done with that one. What's the one on the alpine skiing? Yeah, I love the Winter Olympics. But summer ones, I don't mind. Summer events now a lot cycling, so. Um, but I really love. The only kind of thing I don't find really exciting is the curling. I think I pretty much like every other Winter Olymp Olympic event, especially the snowboard cross. That is my absolute favourite. So do yourself a favour, don't watch the Winter Olympics, watch the snowboard cross. It's amazing. Um, I really like it because it's not just, and for most of the winter sports, the reason I like it is it's not just how fast someone can go, like get in a pool and you swim lap, you know, that's as fast as you can go, it's just all personally what you can do. Well, like at the Winter Olympics, is obviously the weather, plays a big part, the course, 
and in um, things like you know speed skating and the snowboard cross and stuff, it's what other competitors do obviously affects you. The cycling's the same, it's why I like cycling as well. It's not just one person racing against a clock. I like things that, you know, have that sort of unknown element. I don't know, you know, like weather. <laughs> so I like that. That's, um, yeah, I think that's what I like about him. So I'm so excited. All right, he's a little bit on the snowball cross. And the final place. All athletes will take part in the scene plays and they race against the clock in individual runs. The heats of the final phase will be based on the ranking that is determined by the seeding phase. There are five stages to the men's final. Kevin's back home, he's just been and bought the washing in. Some puppy got left outside. Mr. Comb ahead. Hi, Mr. Conehead. Try not to bump me. He's actually pretty cool with this cone. Reggie always runs into you. Oh, yeah, some mum wants some dinner, mightn't they, before we go out? That's a dry food tonight, puppies. There's nothing cooked. You're like a big lion. <laughs> you do look like a lion. My strange child. She wants to go in the pool. This is a flotation device. <laughs> and this is why he frustrates me. He decided we needed another set of sheets. But no, we don't just buy one. We buy four. Are you going to on YouTube? I've got a lovely present from another online friend. I don't think she watches the videos, but I will put a link to Karen's blog below. We've been online friends for oh many years now. So I'll open up and see what she sent me. Kevin said it's not good. That makes car smell really nice. <laughs> I just love how cute she up to everything. Everything's like you know, we see um, Ziploc bags so they won't leak. We just put the, the curling thing around it. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And here's the goodies, a gingerbread candle, and it smells beautiful. A cute little jar. So you saw this was a uh, room and linen spray, and lavender. Some organic apricot preserves from Trader Joe's. Like Except like all crap. American stuff. Uh, Dishcloth that she knitted, isn't it beautiful? She's a much better knitter than I am. That's what I've been smelling my car. Yeah, so... Lux Naturals handcrafted soap, isn't it beautiful? Nice. I don't like normal smelly stuff. Another thing for. Is that from Trader Joe's? It's just Trader Jacques. I don't know. Um, <laughs> oat milk exfoliant. Ginger almond, that should be nice. And then she sent a Lara bar, a cappuccino Lara bar, and a Go Macro almond butter and carob bar. Well, they sound nice. And probably if I like them. <laughs> Actually, I know I can. I think I can get them Lara bars from I heard. Well, thank you so much, Karen. I know you probably watch this video, but we'll send you a little thank you. But isn't that so sweet? Well, we've just arrived at the movie theatre. Kevin and I are having a date, aren't we, Alan? <laughs> no kids. <laughs> so what we're we going to see? I can't think. Oh, saving Mr. Banks. Finally which I've been wanting to see for ages, but I've decided to get a bad headache, which is good. This isn't Panadine, so hopefully that will scare it away. So this will be nice. It's not often you get out the two of us. This is a bit of a rare occurrence. We're going to Hungry Jack's to get dinner. I have veggie burgers. Here's our Hungry Jack's. I have to go make them fresh. There's a 30 pack of the chips as well. Only one of you. I didn't press the veggie thing. Let's put the veggies at home. Let's put two veggies. Maybe just didn't press it. Mm. Can't open the box. Okay, That's a trick to the box. I don't know. I'll take the main of my one. I must have hungry me. Popcorn doesn't make for a very good dinner. Oh, we love the movie. Oh, it's really good. Really good. I enjoyed it. Oh, we love Mary Poppins. Love Disney. So it was really good. So I'm going to have my burger. I'm up to bed. Because tomorrow the Olympics are on. So maybe I'm going to see you tomorrow. Pretty much video. I'll probably record some, but 
yeah, don't be surprised there's not much coming your way in the next few weeks, but I'm going to try and get some other videos edited and up.